Hi there, it's Gloria with Glory Be Resale, and I am here to do what's sold for the week of April 8th to the 14th on both eBay and Poshmark. The first thing to sell for me on eBay was this Massimo Duddy casual short sleeve cropped sweater jacket top and this had uh, was navy blue with a black collar and trim and gold buttons very cute and this I took an offer of $72 and the cost to me was $9.99 next item to sell for me was this lot of five, which was the last five of these I had. I had bought um, some ephemera at an auction a few years ago. Um, I didn't forget how many of these I had. I know I sold another lot for over a hundred, and then I sold um, some singly at it probably, I don't know, between 15 and $20. I'd say probably around $20 because this lot of five was 100 So anyway, I made a few hundred, three or four hundred dollars on these. And I probably paid $10. So I sold the last five of these Roosevelt Theater uh, movie guides from the 1930s. I only have a picture of one of them here, but. I had five different ones, and these all went to a library in California. So right where they belong. And I, again, made $194. I mean, $100.94. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Next thing to sell was this Massimo Duddy ribbed round neck uh, jersey and this this person bought a blouse from me last week and we went back and forth on the price we agreed upon a price i sent them the offer and he didn't pay and then tried to go lower so i went higher and he went back to the 50 dollars we agreed upon so i accepted 50 dollars for it I paid $9.99. Next item to sell was this L women's black and white polka dot jacket, full zip. And this I paid $5.99 for and sold it for $35 full price. Next thing to sell were these two metal pockets here, wall pockets, vintage ones. Um, I, I'm not sure when these are from. I tend to think probably the 90s. But uh, these were gold with a little bit of a black on them. And I had them for $22. They sent me an offer for $20, only $2 off. And I happily accepted that. I paid $2 for the pair of them. And they pay for shipping. And that's always a given. I, If I pay for shipping, it's because it was by mistake. And it's very rare. Next thing to sell was this Massimo Duddy cropped linen jacket. And new with tags. They're all new with tags, I think. Most everything. This sold for $149. I took an offer for $149. Cost to be on that was $9.99. Uh, I'm so grateful I found that all that Massimo Daddy when I did. It's it's been great. It's been a great seller and really lifting my uh average cost per item next thing to sell was this joseph ribkoff jersey which i picked up in new york a couple weeks ago so this was also a very fast seller 
I put it up for $29. I took an offer of $25. I paid $2. So, quick profit. Not a bad profit either. Uh, next thing to sell was this Brenda Goody 80s white bomber jacket. And this one I bought last year. Thought it would sell faster. Uh, it took a while. I've had it again for a year. And it finally sold for my asking price of $35. I think I might have had this up for more and recently relisted it and dropped the price to $35. It sold for $35 and the cost to me was $3. So, good profit. Next item to sell uh, were a lot of two lidocaine pain relief cream and these I bought a small box of I don't know maybe 20 to 25 boxes of various things like this last summer and they've been very slow to sell this is the second set of two I had three sets what I have one left and it sold for $23.50 so did the last one. So cost to me was $10 for all of it. So the profit's not bad on it, but very slow seller. I don't think I'd rush to buy it again, especially when it's got uh, expiration dates. I'm sure it goes a little past that, but still. Next thing to sell was this Massimo Daddy Crop Textured uh white button jacket and this one sold i took an offer of 120 dollars cost to me nine dollars and 99 cents love those profits next item to sell was this halo hattie hilo hattie um red hawaiian shirt and this i picked up last summer and just got selling it now. I took an offer of $20. The cost to me on this one was $2. So, an all right profit. Bread and butter. Bread and butter item. Next thing to sell in this one, uh, if you watch my haul videos, this was recently in it. I... Bought these for $7.49. I took an offer on them for $43. So, pretty good profit. Very quick turnover. So, I'd sell these all day if I could find them. Very happy with the sale. Next item, we're over on Poshmark now. And the first item to sell over there was this Biggie Smalls sweatshirt and it sold for the full asking price of $32. I feel like I just ended and relisted this recently too and freshened it up. Someone bought it and the cost to me on this was um, $6.49. So pretty good, pretty good profit on that. We should so faster. Sometimes clothes are just a slower, uh, long tail item. The next thing to sell was this salty cropped gray. It was like a cut off cropped gray sweatshirt. And I picked it up for $3. I think mainly just because it said salty on it. And I took an offer of $15. So, a small profit, but anyway, it moved on. Next thing to sell was this one. This one, I just really like this belt. It was a cool gold snake with the rhinestone head and tail. 
and it had a magnet underneath the head that attached to the metal belt. So it was pretty cool. And this sold for $39. The cost to me on this was $2.99. Next thing to sell over here was this vintage Liz Claiborne belt. And this sold for $28 with also a shipping discount of $2.02. And the cost to me on this one was $3. Did take a long time to sell, but belts are kind of out of the way. They're very small, take up very little room. Next thing to sell was this Master's hat, green circle logo hat, and this I had up for $65. I took an offer of $45, and the cost to me on this was $3. So, good turnaround. I like to pick up Master's items. Next item to sell was um, this knit top that I had picked up for myself. I thought I'd I thought I might like it, and I didn't. It's just not a style for me. Uh, I, I thought I got lost inside of it. <laughs> it was a bit big. Um, but anyway, this was a Bryn Walker Lagen look. Herringbone knit bat wing top, and I sold this for $41. I forget, again, what the cost to me was. It was something... I bought for myself and then just never, never put on after I tried it on. I didn't like it. Next item was this vintage 80s Marina Kim pullover sweater. And this one I picked up last year, maybe at the end of the season. But it went through all of this winter and didn't sell. So I think I had it at $39. And somebody sent me an offer for $20 and I took it. I do not want to hang on to it and see if it sells next winter. So I'm ready to move on from it. The cost to me on this one was $5.99. So... A small profit, but uh, it's gone. Next item was another thing I was happy to see go. Um, I sent out an offer of $22 with 202 discounted shipping on this Maeve yellow knit top. I've had for a couple of years and very little interest in it, so... Happy to see it go. I paid $4.99. The next and last thing to sell was an item of mine. This is a Faraday Organic Cotton blanket, uh, blanket Baja hoodie. And I just, I wore this plenty. I've had it probably for a year and a half or so. And I wore it plenty. I love the feel of it. I don't love the colors though. Um, the pink and light blue just don't make it. I would like it more in a navy blue because I love the top. But anyway, I forget what I bought it for. I want to say I got a very, I know I got a very good price on it. Maybe $30, though. I don't really remember. But again, it was something for myself. I wore it for a year and a half. And then I sold it online and took an offer. I sent out an offer for $60 with 202 shipping discount. And can't ask for more than that on my used hoodie that I didn't even pay that much for in the first place. And that was everything that sold on both eBay and Poshmark. 
for the week of April 8th to the 14th. And if you made it this far, if you could give me a like, I'd appreciate it. Um, I do not know when I'll be back. Um, obviously, I'll be doing another What's Sold. I don't think I'll be doing another haul video before the next What's Sold. But uh, that's what I got going here. I don't know if I made any... I can't say I, I remember any really big seals on any of the other sites. Maybe made a small one in Depop and uh, Macari. I can't say I enjoy either one of them, though. <laughs> Definitely not Depop. But anyway, still there anyway, selling, so... That's it for now, and thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye.